Okay, these are two simple scripts that both use the onTrigger uh, function that when a character enters a collider, as long as it's marked with isTrigger, um, something will happen. And in both cases it's displaying uh, a GUI. One of them is a window with options and the other one is just telling the character to turn back. So I'm just going to show you how to use them. And as you can see here I, I have a character um, an FPS and what's very important is it needs a rigid body. Um, colliders only work if one of them has a rigid body. So the first thing I need to do, I'll go to my scene here, is to create a collider for it to enter. And I will just create an empty. Uh, we'll put it out in front here. And I want to add a box collider, not 2D, we want it to be 3D. Um, scale it up, let's make it nice and wide, I think it needs a bit of height, does it? No, that's okay. Okay, let's just make it bigger again. Not that we'll miss it there, but... Okay, now the important part, I need is trigger. At the moment, the character would bump into that box like an invisible wall. When is, is trigger is ticked on, it will pass through and it will activate the is trigger function. So we'll start with the turn back. That's a little bit easier. Uh, there's only a few options on the script, but I thought I'd explain them uh, so it's not too confusing. First of all, we, we can have a look at how it should look by clicking on GUI on. And you can barely see it there, turn back is written in white text. Um, it's got an execute in edit mode so you can edit it as you like and as you can see here it's functioning when I enter it appears when I back out it's gone okay let's make it look a little better now um, the next option is text and it says turn back you can You can write anything else. It doesn't literally have to be the words anything else you like, and that's what'll appear on the screen. Uh, the box, in this particular case, I wouldn't mess with too much. I put it there in case there's problems or your text gets so big, it's getting clipped, you can make this box bigger. But for this particular script, I, I wouldn't uh, alter it too much. And I should just say, I, I put in tool tips that when you hover over the uh, properties in the script, they'll give you a description of what they do. So for the custom skin we need to make a GUI skin. Uh, this is an object that controls the font size, the color um, and, and, and anything got to do with the, the text displayed or images that you, you'll have in your GUI. And it has sections, stuff for its labels, stuff for the boxes, stuff for the buttons, and they can all be individual. They can all have their own different font and their own different look. This is a label, so that, that, that's all we'd need to adjust. And to make a GUI skin, it'll appear in our project. It's a separate item, as you can see here. So we'll give it a name. Call it custom skin. And you can see here what I'm talking about, there's a section for box, for button, for toggle, and we're only concerned about label at the moment. Um, all these on hover and all, most of them you can completely ignore. Um, you might want to change the color. Uh, I'm going to go red so we can clearly see it on that background. Um, you can give it a font. Uh, the only font I have in the project is Arial, so that's my only choice at the moment. And yeah, the size needs to be bigger than zero. Okay, to get this working, what we need to do is fill it in here. I can drag and drop. And you can see it's highlighting to take it there. Or because it's the only one in the project, if I click this radio button here, I get a drop down of all the, the custom skins in the project. And there's only one. So I can select it there. Now if I have a look in the game view and I tick it on, we can see, yep, and I've gotten it way too big. But I can make adjustments very easily. There we go, and that's that's the, the box size I was talking about. I can adjust that again. 
on my game object so the text doesn't overflow onto the next line. Uh, but I'm not going to get into that. You can play around with that all you like yourself. Okay, so we should turn that off to start with. And we'll go ahead and save the scene. Now I'm hitting play. And in I go. Anything else? And that would really tell the player to turn back. So it says turn back. There we go. Hope that's easy enough. It's pretty simple.